In today's lunch break, the Chicago waffle maker being featured in a new show on the Food Network. Wally Strepka is the founder of Wally's Waffles, and their signature Liège waffle got him a spot on the great food truck race, Gulf Coast Road Trip. Even though you don't even have a food truck, no, no. <laughs> right? They, Your waffles are that good, they're going to put you on the food truck race. They tried the waffles, and they're like, we got to put them on the great food truck race. These waffles are too good. The, the world has to see what they're all about. So, yeah. So, normally you have pop-up stands, right, at farmer's markets and such? Correct, yeah. For the most part, we don't have a food truck back home. Uh, we're a pop-up-based business, which basically means that we set up under, like, a 10 by 10 canopy. Um, I call it the, the Ford uh, canopy, and I call that the food truck, even though it's a canopy. Um, but anyways, yeah, we, uh, we set up around farmer's markets. We set up at breweries, festivals, um, and also we cater as well, too. So we're popular okay. with wedding showers, baby showers, Great late idea. night wedding snacks. Yeah, so. yeah, okay. So your waffles are very different. You know, it sounds fancy, the Liège, yeah. but what is that really? So the Liège waffle is actually the street waffle of Belgium. It's made from a dough, a brioche-style dough versus a batter. Traditional waffles in America, even when they're called Belgian waffles in restaurants, they're made from a batter. They're right. not actual Belgian waffles. Yeah, look at the difference, folks, because, you know, normally you're pouring the batter in, but these Correct. look more like bread Correct, or, yeah. say, cookie dough. Yeah, it's it's more it's more similar. It's a it's a fermented dough, so it has yeast in it. Uh, it's actually I'm try very to get this buttery. Up so he can get a shot of it. Say. Yep. There yeah, and inside, what you notice, what's very one of the unique things. Uh, there's a lot of things that we incorporate into the recipe itself, but one of the most unique factors of these waffles are these little white sugar crystals here. Ooh. As you can see them in there, it's called pearl sugar. We import that from Belgium. It gets rolled into the dough, and then the dough is proofed, so it poofs up a little bit like that. Oh. And then once it goes into the iron. The most amazing thing about these waffles is that those sugar crystals caramelize inside the iron and you get little like crunchy pockets of sweetness when you bite into the waffle. It's absolutely sensational. All right, let's do so it. So I'm going to show Put you one how of those it goes babies in, there. in there. Throw one of these bad boys in there. You're going to hear that sizzle. Oh, I so see it'll, you flatten it out. Yeah, absolutely. So you want to flatten it out because when the iron comes down, it's going to spread the waffles. And that's one of the unique things, too, about these waffles, a very specific iron that we have here. It's uh, called the Rolls Royce of waffle irons. Uh -huh. So um, it's what part of the reason it makes them so delicious, because of the actual now iron Now, did you itself. actually give us this recipe? Because this is kind of your secret signature recipe. You do, you do, have, the, you do have the recipe. Uh, however, uh, the, it, a big factor is timing and also access to the sugar. Mm. Uh, the sugar itself, there's different types of pearl sugar. Uh, some, so I have a very specific type that has a certain melting point. It's very oh, scientific. Okay. So if we so really like, want it to be delicious, we have to come to you, but we can try it at home. Right, yeah, you have to come to, down to our uh, engineering department and our laboratory. <laughs> we have some staff scientists there that actually you know, test out different things. So it's this. very, very sophisticated kind of operation under our canopy. A dream of yours yeah. from when you were a little kid, like, you know, Mom, I want a waffle maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I grew up, I grew up loving waffles. Uh, it actually all started... Uh, with our trips with our family, we used to go to Poland. We had family out there. Ah. And then we would travel throughout Europe with our family, and you would see these waffle stands everywhere. And I just remember that aroma of the waffles baking, and it just enticed me so much that uh, when I got back home, my father bought me a waffle iron, and I've just been kind of playing with recipes ever since. And now you've recreated just, the waffle stand. Yeah. And it's not just the great waffle itself. Then you put all kinds of good stuff on top. So yep. can we talk about that, or is this going to be finished? Yeah, we got about a minute 30. Okay, so uh, one of the unique things about our waffles itself is we don't just stop at the waffle itself, which I took about two and a half years to perfect uh, for the recipe itself. But we also make our house-made uh, vanilla cream, we call it. It's a whipped cream, basically. Uh, I like to say it's a whipped cream. A cross between whipped cream and ice cream, so it's kind of in between the texture that the way we wow. make it, it, it kind of, it kind of has that fluffier texture more than whipped cream. So that goes on top of all of our sweet options. Uh, on top of that, we have a lot of standard toppings like freshly cut strawberries, freshly cut bananas. Uh, we use uh, chocolate hazelnut spread, cookie butter, and then the the other unique aspect of uh, what we do with our sweet options is we use a homemade chocolate Belgian chocolate ganache. Wow. So we use uh, uh, actual authentic uh, Belgian uh, bran in our chocolate, and we kind of make our own chocolate sauce essentially out of it. Uh, it's a dark chocolate, so it does kind of balance with the flavor and the sweetness of the waffle. So it goes really well. Oh my. 
gosh, that yeah. sounds beautiful. All right, tell me a little bit about the show. I know you can't yep. tell us how things turned out and whether yeah. or not you were the big winner, but tell me about the experience. Absolutely, yeah. It was a very unique experience. I could tell you that we became experts in grocery shopping. I could tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, but, are these uh, the other contestants? These are your competitors there? Yeah, yeah. So I have also um, Maggie and Joe came on the show with me. Maggie is my sister. Joe is my best friend. Uh, they, they were fantastic. Uh, a lot of the other contestants on the show were fantastic too. A lot of talented teams, even though they were rookies, uh, everybody was a very tough competitor and they had a lot of unique food. And uh, we, uh, we had our waffles and we, I felt like we competed. Uh, you know, toe to toe with everybody else, uh, but definitely, definitely going to be a very interesting season. Uh, there, you know, it's going to be probably one of the most exciting seasons I think they've had since the show aired. So I just love it, and you do all right. Are our waffles Here come the ready? Waffles. Look at this, so and you do the savory, right? So the typical chicken and waffles. Correct. Which we ordered at a restaurant recently, and I couldn't believe the chicken was good, but the waffles were terrible. Right. If so you want chicken and waffles, this is the base, right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I think sometimes people focus too much on the chicken itself, which we actually, we put a lot of effort in the chicken waffles that we do, too. We brine it for 12 hours. Ooh. Or we have our own secret uh, spice batter. Um, grab a plate here. And, um, oh, my goodness. But, yeah, so the waffle itself ha is critical, too. You want to make sure that you have... A delicious waffle for your chicken waffle and our savory options are also very unique which we feature at uh at um imperial oak brewing every sunday which we'll also be doing watch parties nice all um, the watch parties yeah all right yeah. well so you get that one all together and i'll tell yeah. people where to find you yeah. you can find more at wallyswaffles.com and then you can find out where they're going to be you can follow them on social media as well and you can see the great food truck race that's sundays on the food network Go to their website for details on that at WGNTV.com slash midday. We will have this secret signature recipe, but again, Wally makes it better. It's, it's be Wally's made by waffles, Walt. for goodness sakes. <laughs> <Only> <laughs> Thank I you, catering make. as well. <laughs>